This video covers Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8.0.180 and everything since the last video, which was uh, point, uh, 0.172. One feature I kind of forgot to mention, let's go to the shortwave band, is, uh, and I'll turn off the map so you can see it a little clearer, this, this big signal here is actually uh, a, a um, digital data signal and uh, it's called what they would call WBHF, Wideband HF. There's a particular mode that's actually 48 kilohertz wide. So I opened up the receiver so the receiver can actually be pulled open 48 kilohertz wide. And you can make recordings. Uh, you could you could make an, an IQ recording of the whole uh, pan adapter if you want, but you if you want to actually make a recording uh, of just the 48K in the passband here, uh, you can do that with with the WBHF feature. The next is I uh, did tweak a little bit on the um, uh, the TXEQ um, so to prevent some um, problems it was having with uh, selecting the different ones like the 10 band versus the 28 band. Uh, you can't have this both on if you select the 10 band, so I made a little change in there. I also, in the spotting window for LOTW, um, for some reason, it uh, was having trouble downloading a full log uh, from LOTW, uh, corrected that, and that seems to be working now. The next one um, is under CAT, I added a uh, a TCP IP server here. Uh, this is the local IP address here, and this is a port that you select. You can do anything you want um, uh, as far as a port number, and then you can enable it, and uh, you can then conceivably use uh, uh, Telnet, and you can send cat commands <clears throat> over Telnet. <clears throat> Or, uh, or or any socket that you can connect to this you know this local machine's address connected to the flex and that port number you could send cat commands and and the flex will respond uh, correctly and then this will light up when there's a connection the last feature I add was uh, this used to simply be a single port for cat control I had the rotor port down here which is this is specifically to communicate with DDUtil uh, antenna rotor port controls under DDUtil to allow uh, um, the uh, in the spotting window when you click on the angles here uh, or the um, the beam headings you can uh, uh, change the rotor with this command down here but basically what I've done is I've added if you don't need rotor control I've added four additional ports down here that can all be turned on so you don't need DDUtil under most circumstances you can go in here and you can change these names and it'll save them uh, what you do is is uh, and I explained this on my web page that there's a thing program called VSP manager that allows you to create uh, COM port pairs uh, basically both ends of a cable, a virtual cable. So there's a COM9, well there's, uh, in my case, there's a COM10 on the other end of it. Uh, COM9 would be the power SDR side, COM10 would be on the FL Digi side. So you create these COM port pairs. In this case, 19 for WSJTX, the other side might be 18. So, and I've activated that. And if you, if WSJTX, if you uh, go straight through it, don't use DDUtil, then in WSJTX you can choose the radio as Power SDR. Uh, otherwise, if you go through DDUtil, you got to use the Kenwood TS2000 to make it work properly. Log, my logging program. You, know, you, you can use whatever you want. If I use DDUtil, I. If I activate DDUtil, I'll turn off these other ones because DDUtil is going to have all these. Com port, uh, half of the each com port already in my DDUtil, and then FL Digi and WSGTX and FreeDV and my login program will communicate via DDUtil. Then I can activate my rotor as well because DDUtil, I'm going to launch DDUtil, that'll run. 
But if I'm not running ddutil, now I can activate all these as long as they're not being used by something. Because um, I've got ddutil unfortunately running right now. And that's what you get. You'll get a com port conflict if ddutil uh, happens to be using it. So I just, I just turned it off and now I can use these. So you can only do one or the other, either ddutil or everything else. And you don't need to make this for ddutil. This is just an example. I could change this and make this any name I want. But the idea is that you can have lots of different PC programs open at the same time and you don't have to worry about COM port conflicts. And that's it.